What is going on guys? Tosker here and if you are clicking this video and you are new to styles, I suggest you watch my previous video on using Windows resources because that's where I kind of explain the style tags and setter tags. So I suggest you watch that. You don't have to watch the entire thing if you want this specifically. Just watch at least the beginning to get a general idea and then you can hop right back over here and get to work. So in this video we're going to talk about application resources and as you've seen in my other video we are using the Windows resources where in our window we defined resources. Now the problem with that is that means only that window can use those resources obviously and if we create another window or we create a user control or a page it's not going to have those styles we created which kinda sucks if you want to have your application universally have a similar look so that's where we actually see our app.xaml file in our project and you may have seen this if you worked on projects and ignored it or glossed over it not really know what it is and this is actually what we're going to talk about so I've set this up pretty much a grid stack panel and three buttons and in our application resources we're going to create a base button a dark button and a light button and as you see right now they're all just kind of bland and boring so now we're going to hop over to our app.xaml and in here if you've seen the other video is where we're going to essentially do what we did but inside this file and by doing it inside this file our styles will be accessible all across our application as you see it is the application resources so like we did before we're going to first create a base button and this again will be a, just simply a button anytime we use a button and we don't define a style this is the base style of any button we use so it'll always inherit these properties so we'll create a style and do target type and it will obviously be a button and we'll do a setter and property and this time we'll get a little more colorful I got kinda of, just did black and white the other video so when we do our background property here we're going to set its value to let's say yellow yellow is kinda of vibrant and we'll do yellow and again we'll do a setter and property this time we'll access the foreground value and we'll give it black I think black is easily red within yellow and before we go hopping in and tying things together we're just gonna get this style part out of the way and again we're going to create a style so above is our base style and here is going to be we'll say we'll do our dark button and since we're going to do a specific control we're going to give it a key and appropriately I think we should name it dark button and we'll call it dark button style and we'll have our opening and closing tags and like we did above here we'll just copy our setter tags to save some time and the dark button I, I think you would assume is a dark button and we'll have a background of black and we'll give it a foreground of mm, let's say blue it's kind of a I don't know black and blue is kind of cool right and again we're going to now create a light button style and we will copy this no need to retype everything but we're gonna get a little error and that's because up oh, our key is already defined within this scope so we have two dark button styles and the uh, XAML uh, parser is kinda saying uh, can't do that guys sorry so this is where we need to just give it a new key uh, light button style I mean obviously we would want to do that anyways we don't want to mix up our styles because it can get very confusing as you create more and a light button generally you would say is a white background and eh, we'll keep blue as the foreground here so now we have our base style our dark button style and our light button style and you might be wondering well Tosker how do we how do we tie this into our main window um, as you can see too here we all have base buttons now because they are not defined styles but nonetheless they are a button and we already overrid the basic properties of that 
So you might be saying, well, how do we tie this in? I know how to do it in Windows Resources, and how might we do this with our application uh, resources? And fact of the matter really is literally how we did it before. We simply just put it in a different spot. It can still be accessed the same exact way by going to uh, Style Property and using the Static Resource. And this is our Dark Button. So let's we'll call Dark Button Style. And we'll go to Style again static resource and we will do light button style and I guess that blue isn't as uh, readable as I thought it would be against the black background and I'll fix this here you always want to make sure you have neat XAML too it can get a little annoying to have to scroll to the side to begin reading things so here we have our again base button which is going to be if we go back it's going to be this because we did not give it a key so anything that is a button by default will have these properties and then we defined our dark button style key which our second button will in, uh, have that style and and for our third will be the same so it's kind of self-explanatory um, I probably it probably wasn't necessary to have to do a separate video on this but I figured I would because some people may specifically be looking for application resources and not understanding styles um, might not know that pretty much whatever you learn with styles is kind of applicable uh, universally throughout the application on using things so sometimes you just gotta puzzle information together so I figured I'd make a separate video here and that's really it this should actually is the quickest uh, video I've probably ever made um, Next we're going to do resource dictionaries and that's actually going to be pretty cool and I wanted to do the application resources first because we're actually going to be kind of using application resources to contain our dictionaries which will be separate files we create for certain styles if you want to change uh, themes in your application if you want to have a dark theme or a light theme or daytime theme, nighttime theme, whatever. Uh, basically if you want certain themes in your application you can define them in dictionaries and then use them throughout your application otherwise and the reason I'll mention that now in this video is now imagine if we had all like 15 different button styles and that might be manageable for somebody who doesn't get bothered by uh, a little messy code but the problem is then if we had 15 different buttons we might have 15 different text boxes and seven different text blocks and eight different combo boxes and three different list view styles and it, it's rapidly uh, this this is going to be not very maintainable and we will be able to use resource dictionaries to kind of break our styles up into chunks and then use them where we feel they need to be applied without digging through an entire page of XAML to maybe fix a property on a single style so that will be in the next video. So if you're looking forward to that, uh, take a look at my videos and hopefully it'll be up by then. It should be. I plan to release all three of these videos uh, on the same day. And that's it, really. Uh, leave any questions in the comments, like uh, or comment, like I just said, or subscribe. You know, if you if you enjoyed it. If you don't, then I guess do not do those things.